Hi, my name is Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And this topic is interesting, dating and relationships in the digital age. So many years ago, we did a um, course for dating and the intention that is around dating is that you want to get married is you want to find your soulmate you don't want to just date that's not what we're about at the marriage foundation obviously it's the marriage foundation right and our approach to marriage is very it's beyond new age it's a very spiritual approach everything that we do is wrapped around getting the most out of your marriage in terms of happiness and love we get married and this is important to you if you're seeking your soulmate you're getting married really for two purposes two reasons one is you want to be happier and you want to be happier every single day of your life till the end of your life together and you want to feel that love unconditional love there's nothing greater than that it is what your soul is actually is love your soul is joy your soul is wisdom you know in most scripture it says god created man in his image he didn't mean fingers and toes it means that soul the soul qualities that's who you are you have a body you have a mind but essentially you're a soul and you're seeking your soulmate so how is that different than bumping into somebody and falling in love people don't understand that falling in love they call it infatuation but they don't understand what it means is that you have bumped into your soulmate again and you don't have just one but that's not important the point is you bumped into your soulmate and you feel that spark that you had in the past that connection and so what you do next is you nurture and develop that connection while at the same time you have to do what is practical you have to do a full-blown investigation of the person who you're interested in and you know remember that we are souls which means we're kind of omnipresent aren't we and we can feel somebody who's on the other side of the planet just as easily as we could feel somebody next door because in reality and I don't mean to scare you but there is no such thing as time and space that's sort of God's game you might say this illusion that we have but so there's two parts to this one part is where you're developing and it doesn't matter that it's a digital age and you don't see the person for months or years it's not uncommon in these days however you still have to know who they are and so use those digital resources to find out about them take a look at their social media um, stature and, and what kind of things they present and speak to them openly ask questions direct questions take notes so you could ask the question in a different way later and see make sure they're consistent make sure they are who they say they are because if you're going to marry somebody, you need to be sure that they reach the standards of morality and the principles that are important to you as well. Now, if their picture may not look exactly like them, but if you know the picture shows a completely different person, that's a problem, isn't it? Because it speaks to their honesty doesn't matter you know you put on makeup if you're a girl you comb your hair well like I do if you're a boy but you want to make sure they're the right person and a lot of people think well I could do much better if I meet them in person and they live close by and the answer is not necessarily 
You could if you know their family, you know their friends, but you still have to do the research. So don't be afraid of the digital age. It's just merely a new convenience that we have. A couple of hundred years ago, it was a three mile an hour world. You might meet somebody who lives 20 miles away and that's like worlds apart. So the world's getting smaller, but the necessity to do your proper due diligence is the same as it's always been. You want to be with someone who is a good human being and matches you in terms of your morality and principles. I hope this was helpful for you. At the Marriage Foundation, we're really trying to get people to understand marriage the right way and to approach it before they're married in the right way too. We've been doing this for a long time. We've had a lot of successes with our clients who have taken our courses and we hope that you go through our website and see what we have that is of use to you. So thank you. I hope you like this video. God bless you. Hope to see you again. Subscribe to the channel so you can learn about marriage and take care. Take care.